Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Town. We love to spotlight a great local business. This is a newer business. I'm excited to introduce you to our guests, Ryan Brown and Clint Lohman with Working Draft Beer Company. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. So we are discussing on the break a newer company here in the Madison area on East Wilson Street, open since March. Mm -hmm. So what really inspired you to start Working Draft? Yeah, I think we, uh, we all were really excited just to have uh, kind of carve out a space on the near east side of Madison where um, you know, people could get together around really great food and really great beer made in house, and uh, you know, make it easy to make new connections, strengthen old connections, and uh, you know, make it really a community community centered place. Yeah, absolutely. Connect, relax, mm -hmm. have a beer. That's right. So, talk to us a little bit about your tap room. Yeah, so we're a, located a, like a block off Willie Street, eleven twenty nine East Wilson Street, um, and we've got a really kind of modern, open concept tap room. So half the space is our brewery, half the space is a tap room. Um, we've got a small kitchen, so we have a, a limited food menu. Um, and everything is really open, like I said. So the brewery is, the only thing separating the tap room from the brewery is just a half wall, which is cool, because you feel like you're in the actual brewery and you're a part of it, and that was something that we uh, drew inspiration from other breweries on uh, that we really liked. and. Uh, it just kind of makes everything feel connected in a way. Absolutely. So as head brewer, Clint, you're kind of part of that atmosphere and yes. really out there and, and being a part of the community and folks that are in your space. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about events mm -hmm. that are coming up for viewers at home who might want to attend something, a good way to get introduced to Working Draft Beer sure. Company. Yeah, November 1st, we're uh, hosting Monsters of Poetry Reading, which is kind of a, a Madison staple uh, poetry reading. So we're hosting that in the tap room. Um, we have a progressive dinner set up with State Line Distillery, which is one of our neighbors down the bike path, and then uh, Boss Meadery on East Wash, so kind of stop at all three places. So um, tickets are available for that that event as well. The the poetry reading's free, free as always, um, but uh, just kind of a little small sampling of not only uh, community or arts-centered events uh, or one of those uh, focus on those, but also, you know, getting again, getting people in front of good drinks and good beer um, with the progressive dinner. Yeah, that mm -hmm. sounds like a great way to, to be a part of what you guys are doing. Speaking of the beer, let's talk a little bit more about that. So what beers are you making that really are exciting for you? Um, so everything is exciting. <laughs> I love the names, by the way. I'm Thank looking you. at the, name, the beer names. Thank you. <laughs> um, our our best-selling beer is Pulp Culture. It's a hazy IPA. It's a really popular style out there right now. Um, that one I'm really happy with. Um, we also try to focus on a lot of classic German style lagers, and those ones are, are pretty challenging to make, so it's, I'm always excited when I feel like I've nailed one of those. Um, but we've got a bunch of new stuff coming up as well. Um, we're doing another hazy IPA that's pretty different from pulp culture that we haven't named yet. I'm super excited for that one. And then a bunch of, bunch of bigger, higher alcohol beers coming out for the winter to try to keep people warm. Keep you <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> yeah. And also some comfort food. I was looking at the menus. You said it's a limited menu. It's limited, but you actually have a pretty good selection. Let's talk about that. Sure. Yeah, we have a super talented chef, John Tran, um, and he's just, uh, uh, you know, done a lot with the little bit of space that we've given him. Um, he makes biscuits, buttermilk biscuits from scratch and has a Hooks five-year cheddar age pimento spread that goes with that. Um, a Cuban sandwich that I think you know, goes toe to toe with any Cuban in the city. Um, Tuesday nights, taco nights, and those guys do an awesome job in there. Um, we just put spring rolls on the menu, which was kind of the collaboration idea of two of our other cooks in the kitchen, and kind of give them the runway to have fun with dishes, kind of like Clint gets to do in the brew house with beers. Mm. We're all hungry and thirsty now, thanks to you guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, before we head to break, I do want to mention a little bit about art, and I noticed that you, you do have some space for artists. Let's talk about that connection there. Yeah, um, we, we have a 200 square foot mural that we commissioned Jenny Gao, a local muralist, um, and that's on one of the main walls in the brewery, really a focal point. Um, but it goes back to what Clint was saying, like the open concept, really making, uh, making it transparent, uh, embracing how things are made. And that goes all the way from the beer brewed um, to the food being made in the open kitchen to the different events that we do. And um, really like embracing how things are made, whether it's warts and all, you know, <laughs> speed bumps or hurdles, but also when you get to surprise and, and delight yourself in things that you've made. Well, congratulations on the business. If you like art, food, and beer, 
lot of us do, this might be a good place mm -hmm. to check out Working Draft Beer Company. Thank you for joining us. Again, Clint and Ryan, we yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for having us. I want to thank all of our guests for joining us today on Talk of the Town. Of course, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time right here on 57.